take it. My arm is definitely worth 10 pennies. Yo, welcome back to another edition of Freaky Friday. This week, we started the land of every family attends favorite location, the land of oversized slices of pizza, the land of way more stuff than any one individual needs, and that's Costco. This one in particular has a recycling bottle drop outside that we're gonna be using to turn trash into cash. Let's just get into it. Let's go turn some trash into cash. What I'm actually gonna do today is go out and try to set up recycling bins in local businesses where I can just go get their bottles and cans once a week, once a month, depending how big the business is, depending how much they throw out in recycling and make a little bit of money. This part I'm gonna have to do with my iPhone though, cause it's a little more discreet. All right, our next local business is the Oregonian. Let's see if they got anything to offer. Hello, anybody around? It's a ghost town. Hello? Guess not. Well, that was weird. Wow, huge shout out to the animal care clinic down here. They're actually already giving their bottles and cans to some homeless guy that comes around and picks him up. Well, Washington Federal Bank, I appreciate your services. They gave me a full box today and I'll be back in about a month to hopefully pick up another one. One lady was a real suspect. She was like, why are we giving him our cans? And I said, well, I'm a nonprofit here in town and trying to stack up a little bit of money. So she turned and then she was like, I'll bring you a whole garbage can. So hopefully next time I come in in a month, there'll be another stack. You know what, we're here. We might as well do the bowling alley. See if they got any beer bottles, I guess. Struck out at Wilsonville Lanes. See what I did? The guy at the bowling alley very cynically was like, we've got our own charity. Like, yeah, they thought I was lying or he's just giving the cans and bottles to his kids to raise money. Like, you think I'm out here asking for your cans and bottles for fun? Let's go to Napa. You know those auto mechanics be slamming sodas. Mountain Dews, Coca-Colas, hopefully no beers. This Napa's got its corporate office here. Maybe we give that a shot. Napa no go, Napa no go. Let's check out Les Schwab. Maybe they got some mechanics that are throwing cans out. And the homeless guy got Les Schwab too. The homeless guy's beating me out here. How crazy is that if you really think about it? I'm here trying to start a business picking up cans from businesses to hopefully create a relationship with them to look for donations in the future and to get a little bit of money from the cans. But this homeless guy is doing basically the same thing just to live. It's crazy. Hey, this is Editing Ryan. I just wanted to pop in here real quick and explain why this is even a Freaky Friday segment. It's because going into businesses and asking for their trash was a little bit uncomfortable, just going in and having those conversations. This was one of the first times I've done business to business communications, being my own business. And although growing up, we used to go dumpster diving all the time, which I'll talk about here in a second with my mom, it was still a little bit embarrassing and uncomfortable to ask for people's trash. That's just not normalized in society and although it should be because if you can take someone's trash and make something of it then we're using less we are wasting less so it's a great thing but it's a little bit uncomfortable to go out and do so that's why it's this week's freaky friday and plus y'all don't want to just see me run 14 miles and then 15 miles and just just do physical things like there are other parts of our lives where we have to expand and i want you to see that as well on the social side on the communication side there are ways we need to push ourselves and get ourselves outside of our comfort zones to grow. So that's why it's a Freaky Friday segment. Now back to the action. Come on. Let's see how much this is worth. There are a few lessons that we learn as kids that we don't really grasp until we're older in life. And dumpster diving was one of them. My mom used to take me with her when she would go dumpster diving and Really, I'm super thankful about that. That's that's led to how I fundraise for a nonprofit at 25 years old, 24 years old. I'm not 25. I'm tripping. I can't rent a car yet. But learning to dumpster dive and my mom being an OG entrepreneur, she used to, she still would do a recycle steal, take it down to the recycling plant and get paid for us. You have to get creative when you get out there. Mom, thank you. This one's for you. All those dumpster diving days are paying off. No way. 
You can't take these? You can't take that? These ain't good either. Coca-Cola cans? All three of these ain't good. I'm about to be sick. Diet Coke and Sprite cans are in there. I can't recycle any of those. At least I can recycle these. I'm an idiot. This one says plastic and glass only. That's why it's not taking any of the cans. Stupid. I was about to be so sick. And I couldn't find where it labeled on here that it was recyclable in these states. So I was sure it just wasn't taking these cans. Let's see. See, cans and plastic. We're gonna cash this one out and move over to that one. A solid dollar and 30 cents. Well, we're adding the cans up now. I'll let you know how many we get at the very end, the moment y'all been waiting for. But realistically, I didn't plan to have any cans or bottles today. I just wanted to go out and make some relationships within the community. So these are just a bonus as far as I'm concerned. Well, the tally is in. We had 106 in this one and in the first one, we had 13, so total, we had 119 cans and bottles today that I didn't even expect to have, so that's awesome. Come have a good day. Oh. <laughs> hope I'm in frame, ooh, ooh, ooh. I hope I'm in frame, ooh. Hey, stop, stop, just stop doing that, stop it. I don't mean to interrupt, but we're gonna end this video on that note. And if you do feel so inclined to donate to help motivate thousands of youth across the planet, there are tons of ways you can do it. You can do it at motionimpact.org. You can do it with the Amazon Smile link. You can give via Venmo. And lastly, of course, you can get a business here in the Portland area to donate their cans or bottles on a monthly basis. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week for another episode of Freaky Friday. Ah.